Right, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up this emulator here. It's the MDMU. It's a Mega Drive emulator. And for me, I think it's the best emulator on the market. Some people may differ, but like, like when you use RetroArch, you can't, it won't pick up home brew ROMs and that. And it all acts. So it's on the Play Store, which is there. It is a paid, I think it's 279, but it's always getting updated. So you know what I mean? It is the best emulator. For this setup as well, I'm going to be using a controller. It does, uh, you can use touch screen, but it's miles better with a controller. So, like I say, it's easy. A lot of people out there can set this up themselves, but there's people who's new to emulators, they probably haven't got a clue. I'm going to go through it slow. So, this is the controller I'm using. So, this is the controller I'll be using. Like I say, you can use any Android controller. This is the 8-bit door. As you know, it looks like a SNES controller. This is my favourite controller, by the way. It's a really good. I can't fault it. And this is what I'll be using. My Samsung Tab S6. So, like I say, it's easy. Any Android controller will work. Right, let's get into it. So, we've got our emulator. We've got the controller. Next, we need is this file manager plus so download that from the play store then of course you need your roms so it's just go on google i can't tell you where to get from but just type in mega drive full rom sets also i'll be doing a master system setup as well because this runs master system so same again master system full rom sets once you've downloaded them you want to go over to file manager and here we have the ROMs there, the zip, this will unzip them and I've made a, a folder here in Mega Drive on your Maker Mass system, I'm going to just show you a tip in a minute so open up that click on it this top one here, the square and then move, go back go into there and paste easy right that's done, so we'll go back so there you are. Next, you need to make another folder. But this time, I want you to put a capital A at the beginning and then master system. Like that. Same again. Move. Master system. And paste. Right, that's easy, that's quick. Right, next, back out. When you click on that, and move into Mega Drive. So there we are, now that's at the top. So we've done that, now we need to open up the emulator. Let's jump out of that, go across, and open up the emulator. So that's how we have it. So the first thing is we need to set up the joystick, joypad. Joystick, joypad. Right, I clicked on it to find it. So, set up. So there it is. And this is easy. This you just set gamepad keys, and you just put in up. So you press up, press up on your control. So you do that with all the buttons. I don't use turbo, so it's just. So that's easy. Go back. Now action keys. Now, you can add a load and save if you want to. I use L1 and R1. Now, the next one, open menu. I use my left thumb analog to open up the menu because if you want to play a game, it's single. But this does save games. I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. So, I use, like I said, L1, R1 for saving. I don't really use that so it's just for games like Kid Commune because it never had a save feature it was a pain that so back so that's set up your joystick set up it's easy peasy right we go back again now load again now what we'll do here man's already there but i'll just show you what you have to do when it comes on it'll be like this my roms are on my sd card so go down 
where they are negative half. Now, as I showed you before, I put the master system with it. It'll appear at the top, so you're not scrolling for looking for a master system game. So there you have it. They're all in. Let's just try again quick. We'll try this. Right, I'll come back. So there we have it. So, it so if you press the L thumb, that takes you into this. So you go back, top, press the arrow there, and you can change your game if you want to. Now I'll show the thing with the master system. You just click on there, and then you have your master system games. Let's go back again and you just press the arrow at the top to go back into these. Now I will show you another thing. You can change the graphics as well. So let's just find a game. That will go with Adam's family. When you come out of this again, and back again the arrow to take you to this, and I want to go to on screen, like options, sorry, go to video. Now you can change, you can put a bit of a shine. A lot of people don't like this, but if you go to image effect, press scale line 2x, go back, back, close menu. And you see it's put a bit of it's, it does look a lot of people don't like it, some some game I think it looks now like I said the save if you watch this now it's saved I'll go back you know on a load boom there we are but I will show you someone else you come out to this close the game exit the emulator you go back on you can go to recent games just click on it and you'll say continue and you're back to where it was. So that's basically it. But the best thing about this is Robert Balega, whatever his name is. He also does a few other emulators, the NES one, the Atari 2600, he does a SNES. Is Neo Geo Pocket. He also does a Commodore 64. All these are basically the same setup apart from the Commodore 64. I will go through that. It's a bit more difficult than these. But like I said, if you purchase the Terra 2600, it's basically the same. Exactly the same setup. So really, I'm covering up a few more emulators. Right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I did. Right, any questions just put them in the comments i'll get straight back to you right i'll see you later thanks for watching don't forget hit the subscribe for more videos see you later